Idris Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about urinary operators. Basically, we discussed about the pre-increment, the post-increment, the pre-decrement, and the post-decrement. Today, we are going to start up a new lesson, and we are going to answer ourselves in the next few lectures, what are the binary operators. So, on to that, we are going to start uh, our journey on to arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, and assignment operators. So, let's see what are the arithmetic operators. Basically, the arithmetic operators, they contain a symbol uh, such as a plus, and a symbol of a plus means up an addition. We have got another symbol, the second symbol, it is a minus, which means subtraction. We have got another symbol, which is a, an asterisk. An asterisk represents multiplication. We have another symbol, backslash, and the backslash represent division. And we've got the last symbol, which is percentage. Here, it means modulus. So these other symbols are very, sim uh, are very familiar with ourselves, we know what is addition, we know what is subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, to put up some light, what is a modulus? Modulus means a reminder of. So, let's take for example, if I say 5 modulus 2. So, I say, what is 5 divided by 2, and what is the remainder? So, the remainder of it Actually, it is 1. So, that will become modulus. But if I say 10 modulus 2, what does it mean? 10 modulus 2, it is a 10 divided by 2, and what will be the remainder? 0. So, basically, these are the things uh, we are supposed to discuss. So, let's demonstrate them in our dev C++ and see what happens unto them. So, let's take up an example whereby you can demonstrate all of them and see what happens. So let's declare some variables. So I'm declaring up a variable A and assigning this assignment operator the value of 40. And then another variable called B and I'm assigning the value of 20. And then I'm declaring up a variable called add for addition, call sub for subtraction, call mult uh, for multiplication, call div for division, and call mod for uh, modulus. So those are, are actually my variables which I'm going to use to demonstrate uh, the arithmetic operator. So let's start on to that and see what happens. So, let's say what is add. So, my add basically will be, let's say, A plus B. And then my sub, my sub, which means for subtraction, will be A minus B. And then uh, for malt, will be A multiplied by B, we're using a panasteric, and then for div, for div will be A divided by B, 
and then uh, for modulus we'll give it a modulus b so basically that is how we have done it we have tried the five of them and see uh, what will be the result out of that so let's put up our print f and uh, basically on our print f what do you want to display we want to display addition so we'll have up a, our add and then put up an equal sign and we'll have our format specifier for that particular one and then we'll move up on to our next line we're having our next line so we'll have a backslash n for our next line so the next item it is what sub equals to and then here what are we having from we're having a format specifier which of type integer and then we are having up another new line and here now we'll have the malt our malt will also have a format specifier d and then we'll have uh, our uh, our escape sequence to put up a new line so control n and then from there we'll have our div so our division uh, basically will be that and then have up a, a format specifier percentage d and then lastly we are going to have our escape sequence putting up a new line and then we'll have our mode and our mode basically uh, will be and then we'll have our percentage d then we'll have our percentage d now uh, according to our format we must now uh, we must now have what now we must uh, have all our variables we are starting with a variable called add a variable called sub a variable called malt a variable called div and the last variable here we are calling upper mode and then all statement must be terminated so that is basically how a program will look like so what do we expect from this particular program basically is to execute and give us the value of a which will be here in our so this is a command so a plus b should give us 60 and uh, here we have uh, a minus b should give us 20 and a multiplied by b should give us 800 and a divided by b uh, should give us 40 divided by uh, 20 should give us 20 I mean 2 And finally, the modulus. Uh, when we say uh, 40 modulus 20 should give us actually zero. So let's run this particular program and execute and see uh, what happens. Yes, so when we run this particular program, basically we see this 60, our subtraction, actually our addition was 60. We see that our action 20 and uh, and the division was uh, 800 and uh, I mean uh, division was 2 and modulus uh, was 0. Actually, what I've done, we have actually implemented operates. So, with that, uh, with that in note, with that in note, we are seeing that actually uh, we have already, uh, we have already uh, demonstrated arithmetic operators so in our next lesson so in this particular lesson actually what we have done we had finished up with the arithmetic operator the next lesson we are going to talk about the rational operator 
and then logical operator, bitwise operator, and assignment operator. So thank you very much. And however, don't forget to subscribe. Thank <music> you.